So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can run these NASA undergraduate computer programs. It's a whole heap of them. They're all quite useful. However, they're predominantly available as Java applets, which we can no longer run in modern browsers for security reasons. Fortunately, over at GitHub, Hugh Pierce has um, got a repository which has a standalone Java application that lets us run all these applets. So to get that, we just click this green button and choose download zip. Once it's downloaded, we will extract it. So let's just extract that. Now, because this is a Java application, we're going to need to have Java installed. Um, so to check that, what you do is you go down to Windows or you do Windows R and you type CMD. Uh, alternatively, you can type in the search box and type CMD. And that'll open the command prompt. Then just type the word Java and press enter. So on this machine, I don't have Java installed, which may be the case for you. If that's the case, uh, head over to Oracle's website or Java's website and download the latest Java runtime environment. So we'll just do that now. And I was going to save it, but I'll run it. So you just click through. There's no um, non-standard things we need to do. Great. Now, uh, despite it being installed, you'll see it's still not sh showing up here. That just means we have to relaunch the command prompt. So let's reopen it again, CMD, and test that Java is working now. So we type Java, and now that looks better. We can even type Java version and check which version we have installed. Well, that should have worked. There we go. So now let's run the application. So let's go back to where we extracted it. And we need to copy this address here. Um, so I'm going to copy that. And inside the command prompt, type cd space, paste that in there. And then we're going to type Java and we're going to run this driver file here. So the driver.class is where it's been compiled. So we just type Java driver and that should launch all these applets. So they're all available there. Um, as far as I can tell, they all appear to be working, uh, but I'll have to do some extra testing. But essentially that's how you you run it. Um, if you have a machine that doesn't have Java running, when you're done closing any of them will close all of them. And that's it.